My name is Chen Ling. I'm 22. With the missions of a youth in a generation in which gender equality plays a crucial role in balancing the roles and rights of each gender in the society, I'm here as a participant of Speak Up Competition 2020 for voicing up, changing cognitive, and joining hands to build the future with the topic We for Others, the opportunity for equal development among genders in a society. Female and males are obviously different by nature. Like when you go home, you tend to call your mom instead of calling your dad. Or when you want to find some stuff in your house, you tend to call your mom as well. However, when you want to get some help with your very heavy luggage, you tend to call your dad who can carry all of those heavy stuff. But if people consider the physical and biological differences a rule to follow without critical realistic applications, this will be the foundations for continuously reinforcing the gender inequality instead of empowering human rights. Let's group with some information from UNESCO Institute for Statistics. In ASEAN only, there are the higher rate of out school boys than girls in primary education, while a greater rate of out school girls than boys in upper secondary level. Girls and boys' attendance in education reflects gender inequalities when boys are expected to stop going to school at the age of primary education to enter the labor market, while girls are required to get married at the age of secondary school. Such educational problems set the framework for fixed social norms and expectations on how men and women should be when they are taught to be in a certain role in a society, like being a housewife, responsible for domestic dominance and child care, or the main labor force in the family who plays a key role in making a living and suffering from financial pressures. Men and women without accessibility in education seem to be limited in terms of opportunities. In 2012, there are around 70 million child of early and pride globally, according to UNFPAs. Averagely, each day, there are nearly 40,000 uh, girls under the age of 18 threatens their rights on many levels from not only educational and occupational opportunities, but also highly vulnerable to health risks when they have to pregnant in the early age on the men's side. The educational dropouts mean that they have to suffer from financial pressures in the age of learning and playing, which related to some kinds of mental and physical health risks. Despite the fact that it is 2020, we still have far too many antics ideas about gender roles, like um, when we uh, face the problems of uh, like the double burdens being a housewife in home and also being a worker in the society, that is the first challenge that uh, the women may face or the men with like, the emotional suppressions because they cannot free themselves to express what they are feeling and to express some kinds of weak side in the emotion. As a result, uh, there are still like of responsibility and emotions uh, like the insufficient support for domestic dominance and child raising for women, for men, to give women a space of respect, appreciation, and social development, or the emotional understanding for, from women to men who cannot free themselves to express the weak side in emotion. The act of uh, the stereotype, the bridge state on how men and women should be, and also the universal education uh, for both genders without the restrictions of stereotype among genders in the future style one. And in that future, men and women should be given the free space for social and emotional development. And in that future, men and women with the mutual support for each other are empowered, women are empowered to be stronger and the confidence decision makers of all areas of life. Uh, and men given the free space to express what they are thinking, what they are feeling, to develop the emotions in the futures. The futures of social mobility and emotional developments are also the futures that I want. 
we are women and we want to share the burdens of employment and also the emotional expressions with men and on the reverse we want to decide our positions in a society we have the right to climb up to the social ladders with the demands of being respect being recognized with rights and roles in the society being a woman is uh, is the privilege or the disadvantage in the choice and your choice will influence other choice as stated in the uh, genders in the equality generations uh, campaign and being a man is not being a stay tuned with the emotional suppressions thank you so much for your attentions